weeks ago I did a video on the configuration menu on a Trimble CB460 in manager's mode. This one will be on the installation menu. <coughs> First one we got there is machine settings. Select OK. It's just got a little harder machine information. Uh, 772D greater mass positions, blade left and right, left and right mass types, fixed mass, you didn't really run fixed mass on GPS, um, you'll have uh, extendable or adjustable mass for your ATS, and then you make another one that has a laser receiver in it, but it is also fixed, um, may fall, blade slope, blade rotation, blade pitch sensors. This machine doesn't have any of them on it. Positioning radio type, sight net radio. This has a 900 on it, I believe. That's what most of the GPS systems run. No wireless communications. We don't have the uh, internet basically hooked into our base that can send information back and forth to the office. We don't have it set up yet. Grade control, auto lift. VM420 uh, is our lift valve module. Uh, that's the valve brand. Auto controls range limit, that's in seven tenths. Um, and then light bars are external. Change any of that information, you can do it down here. There's an SOP key, edit machine, it'll go through each of those and uh, you can enter in whatever you need to. Um, and it'll mess with it. Mix it out back here. Back again. Units. We can change basically our units for our, all the readings we're getting. Uh, distance, we can go US survey feet, meters. International feet, back to US survey feet. Speed, miles per hour, kilometers per hour, um, miles a minute, feet a minute. Be international feet a minute, US survey feet a minute, miles per hour. Grade, <coughs> we can, uh, that would be for our cross-section screen or our main fall screen um, for our slope we can go ratio rise and run uh, percentage slope uh, and a tenth of a percent percentage at 130 percent degrees and rise and run same with cross slope you got the same form there uh, station format you got thousand dot zero um, one plus one dash or forward slash ten plus thousand again. Uh, UTC offset that has, I believe, to do something with the rotation of the Earth. Um, and now you're receiving your signal. Machine dimensions that is information is put in there by your dealer or whoever installed your system. They'll measure your, all your parameters on your machine. You can go in there and change your mass, mass measurements, machine dimensions. You won't ever need to do anything with that unless you're uh, like changing a mass to a, an extendable mass or something. Then you would have to go in there and remeasure and change some stuff. GPS option keys. sure exactly what that does. I guess somehow or other you can set these soft keys to switch your receiver or something, I'm not sure, but uh, machine radio configuration, this is where you change your uh, radio or your network channel that you're communicating with your base on. I just got this back from the other side. We're running on 37 here. Change that. Light bar connections. Um, you 
can select which ones you have connected if they're upside down sometimes when you put them on um, you'll be a great here and if your blades lower it should your light should go down with its below grade up with its above grade sometimes they're upside down sometimes if you're below grade the lights will go up and go down you can invert them you can set it or invert they're all over here on these soft keys um, you can do a valve calibration you have to have an AS400 or slope sensor, cross slope sensor on your mobile board for this. Um, generally do that with the uh, ATS that we use more often. Um, you're actually supposed to do that every time you, every day when we set up, we do a valve calibration on our ATS to make sure our cross slope's reading correctly. Um, usually don't have a cross slope sensor if you're on a dual GPS if you're just running a single mast then you'll have a cross slope sensor because it relies on that to get your cross slope rather than the two uh, independent receivers calculate cross slope for you. you can upgrade our firmware there software support option gives us all of our information Guidance hours is, tells us how many hours. We've got 1147 hours on this system. Uh, 1.2 and in indicate 303 in auto, 15.8 auto inactive. That means you're just the auto switch are on when you're not moving. And then manual 827. That's this monitor's on, but you're not in automatics. Select language. I forget how many languages there are in here, but it's about anything you'd ever want. And I forget which keys you can push, but uh, if you get in there and change it to something that you can't read, there's a certain combination of keys over here. You push the power button and hold down either two or three of these over here. I don't remember which ones, but. It'll automatically reboot it in uh, English or whatever your default language is set to. Operator configuration. <clears throat> so you got a new guy, you're putting on a machine, you don't want to give him very much, very many options to, to change stuff in here. You can just select or deselect these. Turn off the configuration menu, the installation menu, the soft keys, or whatever's in the other uh, box there. But if you disable those, that makes it not work on the monitor. Your operator can't get in there and change anything. Um, you got a really green guy, you can get in there and turn everything off to where you can't even change grade offsets. All you can do is turn the automatics on and off. Um, or you can enable all this stuff and more experienced operators to get in there and change some stuff around or show them how to turn on a manager's mode where they can get in there and do the stuff I'm showing you in here. That's all of it on the installation menu. Over here on the side we got uh, mode. Right here we got 3D uh, dual GPS. Select that. Goes to a 3D single on the left, and it again, 3D single on the right. Um, you've got to have your cross slope sensor on to run in those. Select it again, it'll go to dual. And you can, I believe, turn this on or off if you want. Choose which of those three options in there where you're not able to change it. Yeah, that's basically all that's in the installation menu. Um, I made a 
made a video of the configuration menu here, all this stuff in this one. If you're interested in watching that, go ahead and check it out. It's pretty lengthy, I think about a half hour, but uh, there's some stuff in there that if you use it every day, might be beneficial to you or helpful to you to change stuff or if you don't like the way your monitor set up, you can cut, you know, go to your site manager and say, hey, I wonder, you know, I'd like to know if we can change some stuff in there to better suit what we're doing or whatever, you know. So uh, go ahead and check out that other video if you haven't watched it yet. If you like this one, and, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.